What's going on, Camp Life Squad? This is Big Map 519. And as you can see, I'm running with some of the Camp Life brothers. We're on the map Infection. And just to give you a little insight of the title clip where it said, Fuck you, Campernick. There's, you know, it is Fuck you, Colin Campernick of the San Francisco 49ers. You get paid millions of dollars in this great country of ours to throw a ball. And yet, you're going to sit down during the national anthem and say, I will not stand and give pride to a country that oppresses black people. The country doesn't oppress black people. There are individuals that I, I even say today, still to today, there are individuals that may. Granted, I'll give it to you. But this country does not do that. This is a great country. If you don't like it, take your non-talent ass somewhere else and see if you could throw a ball around and make money. All right? Because you had one good year with the 49ers. That was that Super Bowl year. After that, you suck. You're about as just as good as Mark Sanchez. And if you guys follow football, you know who the fuck Mark Sanchez is. You're just as good as him. You suck. All right? And you want to say that um, you're trying to make a stand for all black people out there. Because when you were in college, you got guns drawn on you by cops for you and your friends for being the only black kids in the neighborhood. Motherfucker, you looked in the mirror, you're not black. Your birth mother was white. Your father, who granted, your father was black, but you didn't even know him. He cut out before you were born. Then your mother gave you up for adoption to two white people. That's how you got the name Campernick. You fucking vanilla snowflake. White. All right? You grew up, you were, lived in Wisconsin, and then you grew up in California. Not Compton, fucker. All right? The white part of California. So you're not black. You never were black. Maybe your left foot is black. I'll give you that much. All right? Out of your whole body. You don't, and you don't even look it. You don't look white. You don't look black. You look Arab if you want to really go there. You look Middle Eastern. But you're not black. All right? So stop trying to say you're doing this because you don't like the way they oppressed you or they oppressed black people. Yes, there is bad shit going on. I'll give it to you. No country's perfect. All right? But it's not our great country here. It is individuals residing in this country that are uh, fucking shit up for everybody else. But like I said, if you don't like it, take your little football and go somewhere else and see if you can make the money you're making in this great country of ours. All right? So that's why I put fuck you, Colin Kaepernick. And that's the way I'm going to go. In the NFL, you're a bunch of assholes if you're going to let this happen more and more all right people don't stand for the pledge of allegiance it's they're playing this game in this country we give they have the opportunity to make money and do that in this great country and if you want to not stand get the fuck out we don't need you you don't do nothing for us anyway Kaepernick if you want really you want to take a stand go right ahead do something about it protest Get out there. Help out. Make your voice heard. Not those little tweets that you put out, which far and few between. And then you want to sit down during the national anthem. Fuck you, all right? You want to say that the cops are doing all this bad thing, but what about all those cops that are protecting you from those fans in the, in the stadiums every time you go to a game to keep the craze fans from fucking um, ripping your head off or going at you? Maybe they'll take a step back and let you go out by yourself. And let's see how your attitude changes and how you come back and say, oh, I misspoke. It wasn't all cops that are bad. It's just a few individuals. And let's see what happens then. All right? So fuck you, Kaepernick, and fuck you, 49ers. I'm a Jets fan anyway. So ha, there it is. All right. So as you can see in this game here, we are dominating Camp Life Squad. Sorry, I just had to get that shit off my chest. Um, and we got this guy jumping around back there trying to snipe. Trying to snipe a sentry gun. Asshole. Straight up. His brother must be Colin. I don't know. But, anyway. This gameplay is going. We're kicking ass like always. Camp Life Squad. And I'm going to let this shit run out. But before that, I'm going to give you an update on my channel. Um, as some of you guys know, I'm closing on a house. I'm just, me and my wife just bought a house. We close next week on the 9th. Now, Friday the 9th is usually my day that I get online. And I play or upload or stream. But this Friday, the 9th, I'm not going to be able to do it. I don't know when I'm going to get back on. I'm going to take a couple of days off because i got to move the house over. 
get the other one situated with my kids and my wife, get them in, come back to this house that I'm presently living in, clean it up, get it ready for the landlord so I can get my deposit back, and then start getting my game room ready. So it might be a week or two before I start playing again after next week. So I hope you guys have a great Labor Day weekend coming up. And this is Big Matt 519 at Camp Life Squad, and I'm going to let this gameplay run out because I got some stuff I got to take care of. Got some calls to make. And, yeah, that is it for me today, guys. Big Matt 519 Camp Life Squad, and we out. Peace.